Well, good evening, guys. What are we doing? Well, we're finally circling back around to this Acheron Bastinelli collab that was a gift from one of the paying members, Winston Cobretti. So, really like it. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, turn down the volume and listen to a little bit of music, and then we'll get into it. Like I said, this did come in from Winston Cabretti. He is one of the paying members and it was a gift to me. And I, at first wasn't sure I would like this and I have really come to love this knife a lot. It spends a lot of time in my pocket. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to say lately, since I got it, I have carried this more than I've carried my sea snake, um, which is good because my sea snake is off on loan to Cole over at Tri-State EDC. Fun, fun little knife, great thoughtful gift. It's in a steel that I really liked when I sharpened it and I have not got any complaints about it really to speak of. So with that being said, let's not make this take any longer, guys. Let's turn this around. We'll look at it from above. We'll get some specs, we'll get some weight, and we'll talk about like some of the uses I've had for this knife and what I think it was really, really thought out to be. So yeah, guys, let's take a look at it from above. All right, guys, like I said, we're just now turning back on this and, and, and circling back on this Acheron. And the reason that it's taken so long is I enjoy carrying it. And I typically, when I have a knife I like carrying, I'll carry it a little bit longer so that I don't have to take it out of my pocket. Now, the nice thing about this is I can continue to carry this. This is my knife. I own this. This was a gift. So let's go ahead and get into some of the specs. So what are we looking at here? Now, this is a fixed blade. So some of the specs are going to be a little bit different. You are looking at overall length on this of 6.25 inches. Now, it's a very interesting looking 6.25 inches, I will say. Blade length on this is 3.0 inches, but the blade is not fully sharpened all the way back. You do have this Ricasso area back here that acts kind of as a finger guard. Looks almost like a flipper tab that's been like not completely cut out. Um, this blade is in Bowler N690CO, which is N690 with additional cobalt. I have sharpened this a couple times for other knives and I've used it on this. I find that steel much better than the original N690. It takes a different kind of edge. As you can see, it is a Warrencliffe full, full or not full flat grind, but a flat grind uh, with interesting, only one fuller on one side. I think it gives it an interesting nook. Uh, you've got that beautiful Bastinelli uh, logo there. So the blade stock thickness on this is 0.14. So let's go ahead and look at the blade stock thickness and see what they've got here. 0.14. I'm on that fuller. I'm trying to get it so I get a full 0.1. Yep. 0.14. Exactly. Now behind the edge thickness on this is going to be a little bit deceiving because I did lay the angle back on this edge. So behind the edge, right behind the edge, uh, I did a full convex on it. You're looking at 0 0.038 ish behind the edge as close as I get, but I did do a wider bevel and I brought that angle up and it made it slice so much better. Handle length on this is 3.25 inches. It is a full tang with removable my green micarta scales, has a very nice, I have to say this is one of the best production Kydex sheaths I've seen, lots of different points on it, really good sheath. Um, comes with that sheath and it does come with a tech lock, but I gave it to a friend of mine because I got him a sea snake and he didn't have any other way to carry it. So Josh, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy that sea snake. Let's go ahead. Last little spec. Let's go get the scale and bring it in and take a look at the weight right, on knifecenter.com, which is where I looked this up. They are my preferred vendor because you do get points. They have this listed as 2.86 ounces. So let's go ahead and get that. Let's pull it up. Let's see which did I finish worth last. We'll do it in ounces. So they said 2.86. I imagine this is going to read close to three. Yeah, two and seven eighths, three ounces. Let's make sure that that's still zeroed. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is not the best of scales. It doesn't do fractions. So in grams, which it'll do better with, since if you guys don't happen to use freedom units or if you're in France, like Bast like uh, Bastion from Bastinelli Knives, like his, <laughs> most of his family comes from, 84 grams. So not real heavy. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And we'll talk about 
the things I like about this knife and things like that and uh, just get it get it looked at real quick since we're done with the specs. So like I said, this came in from Winston and when it showed up, I was kind of I was kind of taken aback. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. It's a very interesting looking shape and feel. Um, I, I was kind of not expecting, you know, it's only, I've only got three finger grip on this. Three finger grip, a lot of times smaller fixed blades, even some of the smaller ones, I have a full grip. Now this does have jimping on here, like if you wanted to get it in reverse grip, but I don't think I would. It doesn't feel real comfortable like that. But overall, it is a very comfortable knife to carry once you get used to that curvature. And the knife, that curvature, typically that pushes my hand down into a position I'm not comfortable with, but on this little fixed blade, it feels very secure. Like it feels solid and secure. Nice broad worn cliff blade that comes down to a really acute point. I believe that this would be a knife that would be in that realm of things that I would recommend if you wanted to carry a knife and had training to carry it as a self-defense tool. But I'm not gonna lie to you, it has done a lot of nice small duty tasks. A lot of knives, like uh, the one that I would come to mind would be the Koenig Arius. I love that knife, but that weirdness of being forced down into that kind of feels uncomfortable on that folder. But on this, I feel really secure, especially with that jimping that runs almost, I'd say it runs more than half the length of the blade. It is so secure. The jimping on it is great. This thing is a little workhorse. It is, it's, it is very deceptive as to like, how useful this knife is. It feels so much bigger than it actually is. And once I got past the fact that I realized I could not get a full four finger grip on this, I was pretty good with it. Um, it does not quite have a full one to one blade to handle ratio, which I'm really, I really dig like blade to handle ratios that are pretty close to one to one. But on this one, it just feels good. Uh, like I said, the blade cuts really well. You have a lot of control. Once you get since that whole spine is rounded, the whole arc of this blade is one continued radius on the spine from the, basically from the heel of the tang all the way up to here. That means that like you have a, that's a natural feel right there. So if you were to, I mean, I know guys that take like a scrama, a screma and do knife fighting. And this is one of the grips that they have a tendency to like is that finger on the spine. You have a lot of control with this knife. But what I found myself using it for was cutting things out. It is just about perfect. If you're bearing down on something with this knife, the jimping just falls perfect. The handles almost feel perfect and it lines you up. It, look at that. It lines you up with a perfect cut through whatever you're pushing through. So... I had initially got this knife, I did the first impressions, and I didn't think we were going to get back around to it because I didn't really think it was going to be something. I mean, it was a gift and I was really appreciative of it, but I didn't think it was going to be something that had, you know, endeared itself to me as much as it had. I really, really cannot, I'm not at all joking. I love this knife. This has rapidly become one of my favorite fixed blades that I have. And I mean, as a guy that has designed fixed blades that would be exactly the knife that I want, and there's been a market for it, I'm gonna tell you, like, that is a big thing for me. Like, for me to say that I actually carry this knife more than I carry my own design, that should say a lot, considering I designed my knife for me. Um, but yeah, I can't, like, I can't tell you how much I like this knife. Now, I will tell you, this is more expensive than I thought it was. I looked this up. Like, this is the first time I really looked at the price. I did not realize how much uh, Winston had, had sent in this gift. This on Knife Center at, its, at the price they had listed is $145. Now, it is out of stock. I don't know if this is discontinued or anything like that, but I'm not going to lie. I am really, really digging this knife. So if you can find one, I 100% recommend it. Like I could keep going on about how good this knife feels. I don't have, I'm not gonna lie, this goes in the front pouch of my sweatshirt. And a lot of times also I'll drop it down in the pocket of a pair of jeans because it is, it's, it's long enough that it'll sit up and I can get down inside the pocket and pull it out. And I don't really have to worry about a soft loop or anything like that. I don't know if I would be as comfortable carrying, if it would be as comfortable to carry on my belt, like appendix carry, not appendix carry, but like scout carry on my belt as it is just throwing it in the sweatshirt of my pocket or this pocket of my sweatshirt, I should say. So yeah, guys, really, really great knife. And like to, to bring it back around, look at the fit and finish on it. It is beautiful. 
that, that fuller that's in it is done incredibly well. All that jimping scales. There are no hiccups in the scales. I do have to say, like I said it before, after I, you know, I had resharpened it before we did the initial impressions. The knives that I'm seeing made by Viper and some of the Italian made knives, they are a little thicker behind the edge. And not just that they're thicker behind the edge, the edge grind is really kind of steep. And so they don't cut as well. But once I sharpened this, that that Nick that N six ninety CO takes an amazing aggressive edge, and uh, I'm probably needing to sharpen it up again. It's 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 looking rough, but it gets used a lot. So there you go, guys. The Acheron Bastinelli collab designed by Bastinelli in Spain in Florida, by, done by Acheron in France, manufactured by Viper in Italy. So. Truly an international knife. Guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts. Uh, at the type top, this thing is just about great as a small little possibly defensive carry, but I've used it for a lot of stuff. As a matter of fact, in between cuts, I went in and cut a bottle open so my wife could get the rest of the stuff out and it performed incredibly well. Cuts great. So no complaints. Thank you again, Winston. Great little knife. And like I said, I don't carry it in any other capacity than just to throw it in my pocket since it has a really good sheath. So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. Um, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as, like I say, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. It helps push channels like mine and Jared's and Cole's. It helps push them up the algorithm because we are a small niche community and we don't get a lot of, we don't get a lot of recognition on YouTube. Um, if you want to support the channel financially, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. First and foremost, I do have memberships down below in the description. All of these are in the description, by the way. Um, where you can get in on membership tabs, you get specific benefits on my channel, you know, early access to video, exclusive content, uh, based on tiers, there's a bunch of different ways. And I, ch I charge you guys $5 left less per item when you send it in for the sharpening service. Other ways you can do it, I have a bunch of affiliate links down below that you can look at where I have knives and stones and all kinds of recommendations. Anything you purchase with those affiliate links, I get a little bit of the, I get a little bit of the cash at checkout and it doesn't cost you anything extra. And then I also have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. that's in the description down below where I have merchandise with my logo and my knife design and things like that. And I've set you up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. Save you 10% at checkout. That coupon code is crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, all one word. And if you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put the pictures in a video. So guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.